Good morning, Hitchin boys. Welcome to the end of year assembly for 2021. I'm sorry that yet again you're having to see me uh, through a screen rather than in person, but I hope you understand that it's about keeping everybody safe as we get towards the end of the year. So it's my first year uh, in charge at Hitchin Boys School, and uh, we've all had to adjust to dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic this year. And um, I want to say thank you that you've all had to put up with very much uh, disruption to your learning this year and to your lives at home as well. And um, we are very proud of you, and um, particularly those of you who are at home in the moment as well and can't be with us in school. I know it's been particularly disruptive uh, to finish the year. And for some of you, maybe it's multiple times this year that you've been out of school. So I'm very sorry for that. But uh, you've done a great job in trying to stay strong and resilient. Uh, it's been hard on the teachers and the other staff too. Uh, we're not used to teaching from behind the screen. And we missed you during the times that you couldn't be at school. But I've gone back through my uh, photo reel and uh, picked out a few highlights uh, that have uh, been uh, this year and really celebrate some of the things that have happened. So I remember my first day, uh, the same day as year seven uh, in the, the playground there. And also other things that happened, uh, like such as the European Languages Week, uh, the activity day, uh, for year seven, uh, sports days uh, of various in house competitions, and we had uh, sports day just yesterday as well uh, that have been a highlight this year. Uh, the mental health week as well, and uh, the uh, initiatives around Just Talk have been a highlight, and thank you to everybody who organised and participated in those. And for teaching staff this year, and, and for year 11 and 13, it's been a massive year around uh, teacher assessed grades, so in other words, replacement for exams. Uh, and gathering together uh, evidence to support awarding a grade at the end of this year has been a, a huge effort. So thank you to all the teaching staff who've done that. Uh, Christmas Jumper Day, uh, we still managed to do some uh, charity fundraising this year, uh, but then we got through to January when we uh, had our lockdown and it was sad to see that we had an empty school, but uh, thank you to everybody who engaged in the remote learning and to all of the teaching support staff that supported you when you were uh, out of school. Uh, the return in March, you will probably all remember uh, going through our, our testing hub uh, and again, uh, you know, around 80 volunteers helped us uh, across that, that week to get everybody tested and, and return safely. Uh, there were some other fun things as well recently, so the swimming gala this week was a particular highlight. Uh, and we had our uh, year 11 and 13 uh, leavers events at the end of May uh, with some silliness there uh, with the inflatables. And uh, who can forget the uh, puppies that were brought in uh, to help uh, with uh, therapy and things like that. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the, the assembly. Uh, you may have seen some of this in uh, social media on the on the newspapers uh, that we had some award winners this year. Uh, so congratulations to everybody who's been recognized uh, from the, the teaching staff uh, and to Mr. Thorpe, who's the silver award winner for secondary uh, school teacher of the year. And he'll be going to uh, Parliament uh, to celebrate. And then maybe the gold award winner might even appear on uh, the BBC One show uh, in November. So good luck to him in the national finals. And thank you to everybody uh, amongst our support staff as well uh, for your massive contribution to the school during this year. And uh, boys, you should all be very grateful for the legions of people that make sure that uh, you are safe and you're supported and that everything works in school uh, because there's a, a hidden army behind uh, the success in classrooms and the success of your learning. So one positive thing that we did get to do this year was uh, agree upon the school values. So the way that we want to act to make this a better place. So the six values will remind you again, uh, yes, I will keep harping on about this uh, next year and going forward, but uh, they're so important uh, in terms of how we conduct ourselves, how we uh, behave and interact with others. And when it goes well, uh, you know, for instance, in, in sports day or in the swimming gala this week, uh, the teamwork and ambition has been has been immense. Uh, and when it doesn't go so well, when we don't show respect and kindness, that's uh, when I have to spend time uh, dealing with issues that I'd really rather not. So please, can we uh, focus on this because it's the foundation of our new behaviour policy as it comes in in September uh, that you'll hear more about in September. And the same applies in sixth form too. So uh, we have a, a new code of conduct in sixth form as well that you hear about on induction day. So on to the main school awards for this year. And first of all, a few words on, on sports. Uh, it has been a, a year that's been disrupted by COVID, but uh, we did do quite well in the summer term with uh, fixtures uh, that were possible in athletics and cricket. And uh, congratulations to the year eight team who were County Cup finalists in uh, cricket. So 
uh, narrowly losing out to uh, Habs boys in the in the final. Um, and you'll see that there are five uh, stu students that represented uh, the uh, Hertfordshire County and the English Schools Athletic Championships recently. So it meant that all of their uh, performances were within the top 10 in the UK. So congratulations to all five students there. So first award is the Leicester Salver Award. And this goes to Ed Laws this year uh, in year 12 for an outstanding year in sport. So Ed, who's uh, pictured on the far side of the uh, picture there, finished in eighth uh, place in the English school's 400 metres hurdles and closely followed by Joel Evans from uh, Hitchin Boys School as well. So to be in the top 10 in the UK for both of you is outstanding and builds upon a track record of achievement uh, all the way up from year seven in Ed's case. And uh, it's a very richly deserved award. Congratulations to Ed. Uh, the Sean Sadler Award. Uh, so a little bit about uh, the background to this award. So Sean was a well-loved and respected student at Tatian Boys School from 1977 to 1984, and he was tragically killed in a road accident uh, while on holiday from his studies at Exeter University. So to commemorate the success of Tatian Boys School, Sam made a gift to recognise a student who's made a particular contribution to performing arts at the school. And this is awarded to Reese Waller. Uh, Reese has given incredible support to the performing arts uh, department throughout his time at HBS. He's given great support to drama and has been a key person at school shows, the choir trips and concerts. And this was a closely contested category with many worthy nominees. Uh, but we congratulate Reese for demonstrating creativity and commitment. And we're sorry that the performing arts didn't get to do all the things we planned uh, this year, but hopefully next year we've got ambitious plans. Next award is the Nick Burton Award. And again, a little bit of background on this award. Uh, Nick was a former student um, who was injured playing rugby for Hitchin uh, in 1973, which was the year I was born, interestingly. Uh, he was treated in Stoke Mandeville Hospital for spinal injuries, but he was in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. But he remained cheerful and full of enthusiasm for life until he passed away in 1995. And the award uh, is given by his parents in memory of Nick uh, is made to the year nine student who's considered to have made a consistent outstanding contribution to school life in his first three years at school. And it's presented to the student who's achieved highly and shown commitment in, in several areas, sport, music, drama and uh, academic work. And this year, the award goes to Zach Wood. Zach's an extremely conscientious student who always tries his best at everything that he does. He's very polite and a kind hearted individual. He's been given the responsibility of being the music manager, uh, which shows his maturity and reliability to other students and staff. He's also very talented in PE and always tries very hard, always asks how to improve and to get better. He listens to advice and then works on it. He also is resilient from facing adversity and is gaining confidence to be himself. Well done, Zach. The John Clements Trophy. Uh, John Clements was an old boy of, uh, of Hitchin and a PE teacher at Sherrodswood School in Welling Garden City. Uh, John was an extremely brave individual who gave his life rescuing children from a hotel fire and went on a school ski trip in Italy. And for bravery, John Clements was awarded the George Cross. And the trophy, the bronze statuette of John in action as a scrum half, uh, was commissioned by the uh, former Students Association and uh, Friends and is awarded to a student who's uh, thought to have shown particular courage or special determination in the face of personal adversity. And again, there were many possible nominees this year. There have been some exceptionally resilient and brave students this year uh, because it has been an extremely challenging year. Uh, but we award the, uh, the John Clements Trophy to Jimmy Mariano in year 10. He's shown great courage and resilience in overcoming adversity. He's kept trying and not given up despite his difficulties. Uh, Jimmy started teaching himself Japanese recently and has great uh, success with his shot put and he's going to be in the athletics team uh, next year. He's being coached by Mr. Bejak. Uh, Jimmy's a wonderful young man who's truly appreciative of everything that people have done to help him and he has got big aspirations for the future. Congratulations, Jimmy. The Phil White Award is an award to sportsmen in the school is extremely determined and committed, but above all demonstrates integrity and sportsmanship and plays sport in the right way. In memory of uh, our ex-colleague, Mr. White, who passed away this year, but uh, who in his sporting life just demonstrated all those qualities himself. And the Phil White Award is awarded to Tom Russell, who is one of our two deputy head boys this year for 2021 to 22. Tom's been the epitome of an Hitchin boy student, both inside and outside of the classroom. He's represented the school in numerous sports this year and as deputy head boy. He's performed excellently in A-level PE. His main sport was hockey, which he performed county level and for the Blue Hearts first 11. And he was the first 11 hockey captain this year, which was sadly hit by COVID and fixtures were disrupted, but he regularly helped and supported lower year groups throughout his time in HBS. Most importantly, he's an outstanding young man who others should aspire to be like, a great role model and a pleasure to watch grow and develop. And thank you for all that you've given to the uh, H Boys School PE department as well as the wider school and congratulations on your award. 
And I can echo that personally as well because I met Tom every week as part of the student senior leadership team. And uh, he was excellent in representing student views and helping guide us through uh, the COVID pandemic. Congratulations, Tom. Okay, over to the house competition. Uh, so this year we did have some disruption. The, the bubble system, I'm sure you understood, made it impossible to get students together across year groups because we were required to keep people apart uh, and not cross over year groups. We tried our best to have as many house competitions as we could safely manage. So over to some of the results uh, from during the year. So in junior dodgeball, it was Matuk. In senior dodgeball, it was Pearson. Junior cross country, uh, Matuk and Pearson tied. And in senior cross country, it was Radcliffe. In junior football, uh, we had Pearson. In senior football, Skinner. In junior table tennis, Mattock. And in senior table tennis, Mattock as well. And the big pedal, you might remember that event this year, uh, trying encouraging uh, sustainability by uh, cycling to school. And the winner there, the uh, biggest number of participants was Pearson. The music competition uh, was won by Pearson this year. Uh, the house geography event by Mattock. Uh, the junior house science event by Skinner and the Senior House Science event by Pearson. Senior Chess uh, was also won by Pearson. Okay, uh, this year we had a uh, House English uh, and the Falls Young Poetry, and the winning entry uh, was by Felix Migliano uh, in Pearson House. The Junior House Quiz was won by Mattock. The Senior House Quiz was won by Mattock as well. Junior House Scrabble was won by Radcliffe. Senior House Scrabble was won by Mattock. Uh, the Modern Foreign Languages Haiku Competition uh, was won by Sebastian Ball in 7-0 in Radcliffe. I Nicaragua, El País Más Bonito, Yana del Alma. The House History Essay Competition uh, was the title, uh, was what was the most important historical site to eventually visit. And uh, the winner was from Pearson House with a winning entry by Fraser McIntosh in uh, 10 MP who wrote about a site in South Africa. The swimming gala recently this week, uh, Mattock and Skinner were tied. And there's a picture from the event and we were blessed with the weather. Uh, okay, over now to uh, the final stages. So you're probably aware uh, that attendance uh, by houses does count towards the overall house competition. So attendance for Pearson uh, was 92.4%, Mattock 92.9%, Skinner 93%, and of course, that means Radcliffe had the highest attendance this year at 93.2. And clearly we ignored a uh, time when uh, people were self-isolating or uh, when the school was closed uh, in January through to March uh, to keep things fair. Okay, uh, counts for uh, merits for house points uh, this year. So uh, huge numbers were awarded this year. I was pleased to see despite uh, the challenges in, uh, in COVID times. So in fourth place were Skinner with 39,846, then Pearson with 40,025, Radcliffe 40,285, and Mattock with 40,997. So Mattock are the winners there, but you can see that it was very close. So overall winners of this year's Time Shield are, and you can drum the tables now if you want, all the same thing. Fourth place was Radcliffe with 403 points. Third place was Skinner with 430 points. So another drum roll to see who's finished second and therefore first. Second was Pearson with 476 points, which means in first place this year with 507 points is Mattock House. So Time Shield is awarded to Mattock. Congratulations to you. Well done. Uh, closely fought again this year and uh, it really made a difference, those uh, additional merits that people got. So please try next year to get as many rewards as you can uh, and compete in as many house competitions and house events as you can next year. We're hoping to have a house festival next year, so a whole day of house events in the summer term uh, next year. So final message for you uh, from September. Uh, just wanted to say that we are all in this together and um, look after yourself, keep safe over the summer. Uh, make sure that you have a good summer, uh, uh, resting, relaxing, relaxing with your family, and hopefully you'll manage to get away and have a bit of a holiday. And finally, uh, those of you who hadn't already uh, met uh, Gino, Gino de Campa, Oliver Pugh, so Miss Oliver Pugh's uh, therapy puppy will be joining us in September. Uh, so hopefully he'll help uh, uh, soothe us and calm us uh, as we enter the new year. So uh, 
congratulations on, on the year that we've had, boys, given that it's been extremely difficult. You've done exceptionally well. Uh, thank you for everything that you've given to the school. Wish you the very best of luck uh, across the summer, and we will see you all in September.